Welcome to Tracker with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to download all files from Amazon S3 bucket to Azure Blob Storage by using Azure Data Factory. So in last video, what you guys have seen that uh, how did I create uh, the bucket and then uh, I have created the container and then I uploaded some uh, files in that. So this is our, uh, these are our files in one container called Amir and uh, our bucket name is the TBIT ADF bucket. And also you learn uh, how to create the policy and the user and then uh, how to download this uh, CSV file that uh, gives you the uh, access uh, key and a secret key that we will use uh, in the ADF. So watch my previous video and uh, you will see all those details. But now let's go ahead and uh, perform another demo in which we have to download all the files from uh, this uh, folder that's in the TBIT ADF bucket. So we have to download all the files. What we are going to do here, we are going to go to the Azure Data Factory and then we are going to go to the uh, right here in the manage and we are going to go to the linked service. So we are going to go ahead and create a linked service for Amazon S3 and uh, let's uh, continue, provide the name. I can call it a demo. Uh, so uh, right here, that's where our access key is going to go and uh, our, let me copy that. Copy the access key and uh, here. Now let's copy secret uh, access key and provide data. Now uh, I will explain that part a little bit here as well. So let's say you do not have provided a, a set of permissions. So if you are working with the S3 bucket, uh, what's uh, going to happen? You need these permissions for sure to download the files. Uh, and uh, to work with the data factory UI author, so let's say you want to navigate to the containers and files and all that, uh, it's good to provide these permissions. If you have not provided this permission uh, sometime, uh, you will not be able to navigate uh, from the UI. So uh, you have to type everything. In my case, I have provided all these permissions, so I'm good uh, and uh, I can navigate to any folder. In case you have not provided those permissions and you want to still test your uh, connection, you can uh, click on to, to file path and provide the bucket name and directory name and uh, that will uh, test your connection. So in my case, I'm fine to the link service is fine. I can test right here or if I do, do to the file, uh, I'm going to be fine as well. So let me copy this uh, bucket and I just want to show you how this works. Test connection. And it's going to be successful as well. So I hit to create and it's going to create a, uh, your uh, uh, link service. If you notice that you reopen the link service, uh, it's not, uh, this, this does not save to the file path or anything. It's always just uh, going to be your access key and uh, your S secret access key. That's what it is. Okay. So we hit uh, close, cancel. And our next step is uh, creating the pipeline. So go to the author and here click on the pipeline. And I'm going to create this pipeline. Let's call this pipeline PLS3 download all file. Okay, so now what we are going to do, we have to download the file to some container and here is my blob storage. If you go to home and here is tech browser IT storage and inside the storage we have multiple containers and one of the containers is called Amazon storage. That's totally empty as of now and that's where we would like to download our files. Go to the Azure Data Factory and uh, use the metadata. So what this uh, transformation or uh, sorry, this uh, activity will do, it will get the list of the files uh, from our uh, folder that's uh, in the bucket. And once we have the list of the files, we will be able to download that. So go to the data set here, create a new data set, uh, select Amazon S3. And now binary is fine because I'm just going to download those files. Doesn't matter they are a uh, .pdf or uh, csv or anything like that. So I have multiple files sitting there. So I'm going to use binary and uh, let's call this uh, uh, S3. Okay, so now, okay, same name already exists. Fine. So I'm going to call it demo. Now, uh, choose the link service here, Amazon. Uh, 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 demo 
and we will uh, use that one and then we are going to navigate to the bucket uh, and these are the buckets uh, remember that i was telling you if you do not have these permissions if you do not have these permissions right there and especially list my all buckets uh, you are not going to see the list of the folders here so you have to type it uh, in my case uh, so in case uh, you don't have that uh, permissions available you have to type the bucket name here and then directory and file and all that so you will not be able to you uh, see in the root folder but i I'm, i have those permissions so i'm uh, gonna be able to use that uh, once uh, you select the container here sorry bucket here then you're gonna click uh, okay and uh, then uh, sorry i could have actually open uh, let me navigate to all the way to amir and uh, amir is a uh, my folder and uh, i'm uh, gonna leave everything uh, blank here i am not navigating to the file uh, because i would like to get all the files uh, so list of the files and here is in the field list i'm going to click on new and choose child items now i'm all good this metadata activity is going to get me the list of the files and then we are going to use those list of the files in the for each to download get metadata activities completed successfully let's take a look on the output and once you click there you can see the list of the different files so this is a file this is a file this is a file so all those files are uh, listed there so now what we do we are going to use a uh, for each so we will provide uh, those uh, list to the for each and then uh, we will use the copy activity inside the for each loop uh, click here and go to settings and here you are going to use that uh, child items uh, so get there get metadata one activity output that's our name of metadata and uh, that's output dot child items so we are getting all the child items uh, those are the names of our files and inside the, the for each click on this pencil sign right there and then we are going to bring the copy activity copy data and now what i can do i'm going to go to the source and here i'm going to create a new da data set okay it's going to be amazon s3 and then it's going to be binary and here i'm going to use the link service remember amazon s3 demo and then uh, what we can do we can uh, just uh, use the file path and uh, show it okay if the bucket is the tbit and then uh, our container is the uh, armor okay now you can hit okay here if you want to provide one file name is okay but wait, wait what we need to do we need to navigate across all of them so for each loop uh, is going to bring those file names so i'm going to leave that as it is then hit okay now uh, once this is created i'm going to go back to the open and here i'm going to go and create a parameter i'm going to call this parameter a file name go to connection back and here remember that we uh, we can use this uh, parameter because file name is going to change and that has to come from the our uh, for each loop so i'm going to click here and use this parameter hit finish now our connection is uh, completed successfully what we are going to do we are going to go back uh, to our pipeline here and uh, in the copy activity and here in the file name parameter we are going to map to the for each loop uh, item so for each loop item and dot name so that will give get us the name of the file okay so we are all good here now this is all set and we don't have to do anything else here and the next part is that we are going to go to sync and here we have to provide the sync it's going to be blob storage so I'll select uh, continue binary and uh, let's make a uh, blob storage so that's our uh, already created the link service so i'm going to go ahead and create a new one just for you we can call this uh, azure blob storage for and uh, then uh, we can uh, uh, use a subscription here and uh, account storage this is a tech result IT storage and that's it you know so we can uh, test our connection and uh, then hit to create now this uh, blob story for i'm going to use right here in the link service and uh, then i can navigate to the folder where i would like to download the files it's going to be in the output folder so i can leave uh, uh, sorry it is going to be amazon storage account, uh, folder so it's going to be right there uh, hit okay i do not have to provide the file names or anything like that here so i'm all good uh, hit okay and now we should be good i'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the main uh, pipeline and here is our metadata here is our for each inside that we have copy activity i'm going to go ahead and debug and it should download all the files from our armor folder that's in amazon s3 bucket and they should put into the 
uh, right here in the Amazon storage. Uh, that's our blob storage. Uh, okay, so let's let it run and we will see. So you can see that uh, it worked uh, really well. Uh, first of all, get metadata get, got all the list of the files here. So you can see right there another file name, another file name, and all that. And once uh, it has it, so it went to the for each loop. Inside the for each loop, it noticed there are seven items. And uh, then a copy activity ran for each of them. So you can see right there. So it tells you a lot more detail. So it uh, downloaded all those. If you want to check, uh, uh, it will tell you like which file was it, how much size it is, how much time it took it and everything. So you can uh, take a detailed look uh, on each of them uh, by clicking on this uh, glasses uh, icon. Okay, so this looks good. Let's go back here in the Amazon uh, storage. Let's refresh and see if the container has written the data. So we can see that we are in the Amazon right there. This is our storage and in the storage we have containers. And in the container we have Amazon storage container and you can see that the files are there. So if you want to make sure the there is a data you can see the size of these files. And let's open one of the file and take a look employee address and I'm going to go ahead and click on edit and uh, you will see some records there so this looks uh, good and uh, this is how what you're gonna do you're gonna download multiple files from a folder in uh, uh, s3 bucket by using azure data factory 